What year will they be releasing the Oculus Sniff? I don't know, we're still beta testing. We have about uh, 10 different smells. Um, soon, you know, we're trying to make it more accessible so you can just, uh, the smell comes out of the controllers, essentially. And there's a little vent. that uh, <clears throat> has the smell come out so the player can uh, be more immersed in the game and the devs will be able to customize it with uh, thousands of smells to add to their game for immersion. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We already got touch. We already got sight. We already got feel. Okay, kind of. Uh, now we're looking at the nose in gaming. It's the future, man. It's the future. Imagine a world. Fortnite 2. But Fortnite 2 now also has a smell. Why smells? Have you never had a smell that you've recognized? Stop crying! <laughs> Have you never had a smell that brings you back to a specific memory? Well, what if now we could have a smell for your video game that will bring people back into remembering, oh my god, that's the smell of the Mario universe. No, no. Are you kidding me? You give a Nintendo fanboy a fucking one fucking lick of a Zelda thing they can buy or a Mario, they'll eat it the fuck up. They'll eat it the fuck up. That you guys have so much success with Amiibo, who the fuck buys that shit? Nobody. Oh wait, the fucking Nintendo fanboys do. So guess what? Wait, I qualified. Oh shit! You quit. D wait, I did. I left. I qualified. Are you kidding me, man? How? It looked like I totally missed. As I was saying, Oculus Sniff, no. We decided not to partner with Oculus. Sniff technology, sell it to the controllers. PlayStation, Xbox controllers. Boom, easy. The smell of Call of Duty, oh God. Hello, Lee. Hello, Lee. Every it fucking day. It used to day. be a place like this was called a dump. And that's exactly what they were. I've been called that Trash online. dumped in piles with little regard for sanitation. But today's landfills are feats of engineering. They are long-term storehouses. I just thought society. of a game. 100 players connect. Fuck, that's all I got. Hades garbage and places where we manage its potential no. hazard. 100 players connect. There's a huge fucking landfill. And you're all in huge fucking trucks like this. And the physics on the trash is on point. Like when you scoop a fucking trash, you actually see like the cans fall and shit. Whatever, whatever. And you gotta move it to specific locations. And then you have other motherfuckers making sure shit goes in a specific location. And then it incinerates or whatever. You could just do a bunch of shit. Okay, you could do a bunch of shit. But we could do it. Oh, oh, fucking boring. Fine, fine. You get a gun. You get a gun. Chat, I am not smurfing. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. Okay, I don't know what it is. Dude, that speed I was at was insane. If I didn't hit that, that was like, I could feel the speed. I like felt air coming off my fucking monitor and like my hair was being pushed back. I was going so fast. Oh my God, I thought about it. Gamer fans, think about it. Think about it. All right, we already got the Oculus Sniff. I'm working on it. Um, we have gamer fans, okay? You attach them to the left and right of your monitor or up and down, whatever you prefer. And it dynamically changes depending on where you are in the game, depending on how the devs implement it. And it changes the fucking, uh, yeah, it's dynamic changing, motherfucker. Okay, if you're on a horse going fast, you know, you feel the air, but as soon as you're slowing down, you know, it stops. But if the wind's blowing, you feel it. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fuck this. I feel like I'm gonna get... Oh, this is lyric division? Don't fucking slant deface me, you bitch. All right? This is ant mania, not track mania. Oh, I just thought of a new game. Hold on, I'm thinking about it in my mind. I'm playing it in my mind right now. I'm playing it. Hold on, hold on. A hundred ants connect. All right, uh, we'll schedule another meeting for more information. Look, all I'm saying is, what if you do, you know, instead of playing games where you have to verse each other, I feel like collaborating is is a is a new area that or an area that should be pushed in gaming. I'm telling you, you collaborate using a shit ton of players. It doesn't always have to be teams, but you're all trying to maybe build something collectively. Like you all try to build an ant colony or some shit like that. But there's more to it. Fuck this game, man. I'm not winning shit. Don't worry, in the future, what's gonna happen is you're gonna play the game, right? You can play the game and you can kill the boss, but in order to get the loot, when you click on the boss, it's going to be like, are you sure you want to make this transaction? That's what's going to happen. And then the loot spills out. That's the future. Calling it. Oh my god, I thought of a game. I thought of a game. Not a hundred players. You are, you have to be, actually no, maybe, maybe, yes, yes. It's like Snowpiercer, but it's a coal train, and there's ten of you, and it's you have to keep shoveling coal into the fern the the No 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 you're on a ship. You're on the fucking Titanic. Alright? Twenty players. And you have to constantly shovel coal into the whatever the fuck. Okay? That's what you gotta do. And the shovel physics and the coal physics are on point. Call the fucking radio. No. Wait, do I have to call? Am I trespassing? Imagine cleaning it. A lot of power washing. I thought of a game. Oh my god. A hundred players connect and they all control every... You, you connect and you're all part of a fucking factory. And everybody needs to take a tool and has a job. And the whole game, it's about how every piece fits together and you need to fucking make a hundred proper products. Listen, a hundred players spawn in. No, it's an MMO. The game's called Trash. Okay? hundred players go in. There's crafting. But the whole point is you're supposed to clear out the game to make it beautiful again. All right? And you go and you make different recycling and crushing equipment and the whole point is everybody's there's no pvp you can drive around and shit you can transport shit you have to bring them to specific locations you got to sort out the recyclable goods and everything and the whole point is the whole player base just works together to clean up the whole world and as the game progresses you see slowly the fucking world get cleaner and cleaner through the through the through the players uh collaboration Okay, I think we did it. Octavra! The blizzard has passed, man. The sun's fucking shining. But it's all good. Man survived. Completely survived. Yes, yes. Shoveled out the streaming room. Exactly. Someone should make a game with really good snow physics where you have to shovel driveways. And then you can upgrade to an electric shovel. And then you can upgrade to a fucking snowblower. And it's like that one pressure game. But you need like really good snow physics. Alright, you need like amazing. Yeah, yeah, the power wash simulator. I'm telling you, man. That could be a thing. Let's go in on it. I need a dev team. <clears throat> and then we can make an expansive. So it's online. And then you have a bunch of trucks, and they gotta plow the highway. 
You gotta integrate it into Euro Truck Simulator. You have SnowRunner Physics. Because SnowRunner Physics, I mean, the game is vast. You know? The map is fucking huge. The SnowRunner devs need to lower it and make it so instead you load into just like someone's house, kind of like Power Wash Simulator. They gotta do that shit. Imagine a mu yeah, multiplayer game like this. Everybody has a task. And you have the blueprint. And you all have a job. A hundred players. This is fucking Fortnite on crack. Alright? You thought fucking Fortnite was hard, bitch. Alright? Everybody's responsible for fucking eight nails. One guy AFKing. Aw, oh, dude, the fucking seat job? Oh my god. How do they get the seats in the stadium? Fuck that shit. That's the worst job here. I can't. I- what are you, like the fucking chair expert? You have to go in there and fucking install every chair. Get the fuck out of here. I would- nope. Nope. Give me the crane job. I can't do that. Yo, this should be a fucking video game as well. I got it. The game is called The Longest Road. No. The game is called Road. And you give people a clean palette. And the whole point is you're supposed to build a road. And you give all the players different tools to fucking connect each other. And all the players spawn in different areas. And all the roads connect eventually. Because all roads connect. Alright. Yes, that's as far as I got. I got it. I just thought of an idea. Okay. You connect something to yourself. And it sends... Slight... Electric... Pulses to your brain. Which moves your... Limbs. And you can t press a button and turn it on and set a destination. So it will just, you know, and then you just turn it on. And it will fucking bring you wherever the fuck you want to go. Done. Passive workout. A Tesla. It's like a Tesla, but you are the Tesla. Now there's five head. That is five head. Oh my god, I'm getting a call right now. Oh, I thought of a good game. A hundred people connect, and everybody needs to clean dishes. It's all a bunch of different dishes. It's physics-based, and you have to clean the dishes. And if you fuck up, or the more you fuck up, you get eliminated. And you add some weird funky shit to make it difficult. Easy to fuck up. Forks, knives. Different glasses. Call it Dishes Royale. Thank God Lyric is a streamer and doesn't work retail fast food. Oh yeah, bro. What's up, man? A hundred players connect. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you all have to manage the road, okay? You know how it's a first person? It doesn't have to be a hundred players. Multiplayer world... You have to all manage the road, and there's AI traffic, okay? And there's random events that happen, and you all need to work together, and you fail the fucking game if there's too many accidents. There might be a fucking ambulance coming through, there might be like a big truck moving around, uh, fucking, um, like a convoy coming through or some shit, and you all need to be traffic fucking people, or what I'm doing. And you gotta manage signs, and it's like the 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 world keeps expanding. Maybe the roads keep fucking uh, the city keeps growing, so you need to keep up with it too. I know, I know, I couldn't fill it up. I couldn't fill it. Up. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, Chad. I was talking. All right, fuck you. Someone should make this game where you can hire employees and you see them doing this. The AI is doing this. 
and you have to manage them. Even though, like, I don't fucking know what you would do, but that'd be kind of cool. You have, like, AI helpers. A hundred players connect? Fuck it, make it a battle royale. Fuck it. Do it. Do it. You're welcome, Saul. I'll do my best on this new job. I still think they need a multiplayer these games. We need a, a fucking trash game where you have a bunch of people in excavators and we're scooping a bunch of trash together. Bro! This shit is fucking stuck! It's stuck! What the fuck are you supposed to do with this shit? It's literally stuck. Dude, imagine working on a fucking plane. That'd be sick. A hundred players connect. You have to make a plane. Holy fuck. It would be too complicated. Imagine, I believe in a world, okay? It's E3 2025. Forza decides to collaborate with Trackmania and Wreckfest. All three come together. You see an article where all three studios are talking to each other. And they take Trackmania's driving with Forza's car library and Wreckfest's soft body physics. And you have Cup of the Days. That's all I want. 2025. Literally the best PC game for racing. GTA Online races are good. Yo. Great joke, man. That was hilarious. You know, with all these games with wood that needs to be chopped, I would just make a survival game called for fuck there's well that game's called the forest this will be called forest and you all have axes it's a hundred players and you all load in and you just all clear a forest together that's all you do so everyone's just chopping wood You know, I'm surprised you don't like... Y y playing this desert game has made me realize there's a lot of resources and water looking good. But no one's made deserty sand look good. I would make a desert survival game where it's almost like the sand of the desert is so dynamic. You can see as the wind blows or like you see the actual sand kind of move and then like footprints in the sand. And the squishiness, and you can see your feet. And it's like a survival game of sorts. Bring the water... Bring all that... We need the Sea of Thieves of desert. Sea of Thieves water in desert. Is what I need. Battlefront? I mean, sure, but that's Battlefront. Journey has good sand? Yeah, no shit, bro. That's also a fucking PlayStation 3 game. Chat, some of you guys go so far back in time. Who the fuck is loading up and playing these anymore? Yeah, no shit it was good. But that was like a single player game from years ago. There should be a game where you are like an unstoppable fucking mage. But you don't mean to kill everybody. You're just so fucking powerful. And you just literally... And, and call it... I don't know what you would call it, but you have unstable power. Linear fucking game about a mage. And you just... just everybody's fucking scared of you because you're just too fucking good. And like, you can't control it like the Hulk. Gaming needs cooler protagonists and linear games, man. Lyric thinking it's original. I mean, it's probably been done before for sure, but whatever. There's nothing original anymore. You realize that. No one in today's day and age can make any story that is original. 
Marvel basically has a fucking blanket over everything. They're like, we did that. We've done that. We done that. No, we did that. That's fucking that's fucking mana man, dumbass. That's mana man. Oh my god, I thought of a game. I thought of a game. You're a, you're a, you're a main character and you have fucking shit vision, okay? And you start with pixel graphics. And every unlock changes and adds more change into the your eyesight slowly becoming insane i don't know whatever oh evo land did that god damn it bro what is going on man okay the end you were not the chosen one I got it. A free-to-play game. Everyone downloads and tries to take a sword out of the stone. All right? But only a couple users can do it. Some people, you download the game, you try, but you ain't the chosen one. Fucking sell it. Done. Free-to-play. The whole point is everyone tries to fucking pull the sword out of the stone. But randomly, there's one person, one Steam account, five megabyte downloads. You log in. The animation is the guy trying to pull the stone out, uh, or the sword out of the stone. All right? I'm telling you. Anyone can run it. But you're just there trying to find the one person who can do it. Oh, stupid idea. There's a gun, bitch. All right, how about now? We're like a bunch of fucking... We're like a school of fish. Whoever fucks up gets eaten by the shark. Oh my god, I just thought of a game. Fish Mania. And you're trying to fucking out swim a shark. <laughs> 